Okay. We are going to look at the paragraph group in Microsoft Word. And we'll see how it works. So paragraph group is found under home tab. And this is the group we are looking at. So it has bullets, numbers, then we have the indent, and we are going to see alignment, line spacing, shading, and then borders and the sort. So we have this text, the way to success. I'm going to highlight the first the title. Now it is on the left hand side. So I want to put it in the center. You can as well use control plus E. You can put it on the right, which is control plus R, and on the left, which is control plus L. I'm going to put it in the center. I'll make it bold. And I'm going to change its size to a bigger size. Now I'm going to shade it with a color. That is shading. Shading is giving it a background color. So I shade it with a color. And then I'm going to give it a contrast color, which will be white. In that case, so that's what I come up with. So I've used the alignment and I've used the shading, but I'm going to put a border around it as well. So by selecting it, and I come to borders, I have different types of borders. I can put a border on the bottom, can put a border on the top, but I'm going to put a border around it. And I'm going to change the weight of the borders. So when I come to back to borders, is there? I have borders and shading. Under borders and shading, I can I'll select a style I want. And after I'll select a color I want for the border. Then I want to select a width. After all that, I can come and put the various borders around. Okay, then I'm going to click OK. So I have been able to put a border around my work. If I want to remove the border, if I want to remove the border. I will select, I come back to borders, and I click no borders. That's how I remove the border. Next, we are going to look at the bullets and numbering. When you look at this text, it has outlined points here, the ways to success. So if I select this, I can come to bullets and select any type of bullet I want. Bullets, select any type. You can select any type. Or numbering. I don't want bullets, I can use numbering. So I can select any type of numbering I want. If I don't want the bullets or the numbering, then I can click back and I say I click on none. None. So they are removed. Then we have indent. Let me create a paragraph here. So I want to indent this text, which I have violated. I have to indent it. I want to indent it inside to begin a bit inside. So I'll click on the indent button. That's what we do with indent. And I can bring it back. So I can indent it inside. 
This one will bring it back. Then you have line spacing. Line spacing, that is the distance from one line to another. So I'll select my text. Then I'll come to line spacing. We have single, which is 1.0. Then we have 1.15. Then we have 1.5. We have double, which is 2.0. So the choice is yours. Or you can come to line spacing options. Under line spacing options, you can specify the space before and the space after a paragraph. Before, that means the space before a paragraph. And after is the space after a paragraph. It is usually done in six intervals. So I can say space before a paragraph is 6 pt, space after. Then line spacing, line spacing. I can choose single, choose 1.5, depending on what I want. And then I click OK. You can still take it back. By going back and change to a different line spacing. And the sort is arranged in alphabetical order. So, if, for example, let me select this, who is to success, let me date them inside. I'm going to arrange, arrange them according to alphabetical order. So I'll come to that. Ascending means from A to Z. Descending, that is Z to A. So if I, I choose ascending and I click OK. So if you follow this, it is arranged in alphabetical order basing on the first letter. If I choose descending, To be in descending order based on the first letter. So we have bullets numbering in paragraph group, we have the shading, we have the borders, and we have the sort, we have the indent. You can do as much practice as you can, as you know practice makes perfect. Select a text, For example, this last statement here, if I select it and come to shading, if the color you want is not there, you can come to more colors. You have standard colors and you have custom colors. So you can choose any color you want Then you click OK. So you get a contrast color, contrast. You make it white. And increase the size. This we saw in previous class. Make it bold, and then you can put it in the center. So that is how we do. We use the paragraph group. We meet in the next lesson when we shall learn how to use styles and be able to do an automatic table of contents using the styles.